all right, so we've been talking about this AccuPlacer that's being used in all the colleges now. This is once you finish the SAT, and then you go and you take uh, a math placement test. And some schools, no matter what, some universities, no matter what math course you finish in high school, they make you take this thing. So uh, it kind of covers seventh grade through college algebra. So here's a question. I just want to make sure that we ace this. So it says the total area of the rectangular floor is 5 over x. The area of the yellow tile is 5 over x plus 1. Then what is the area of the pink tile section? So this is all the pink tile section right here. So all of this, whoops, all this stuff that's not in yellow is obviously in pink. So let's pretend that they have these pink tiles here, etc. All right, maybe like this. And what's the area there? So the area here <clears throat> would be this. So the pink, the pink area is equal to the total area minus the yellow area. Isn't that right? So just to put that into action, that would be total area is 5, excuse me, is 5 over x minus 5 over x plus 1. And what they're looking for to see is to see whether or not we know what to do here. And we do. We don't have common denominators. Remember, the factor here is x plus 1. The singular factor here is x. So x and 1 are not factors here. They're add-ins. This is a term. So that's the trick that they're checking us on. So we're going to have to multiply this side by x over x. This side over here will have to be multiplied by x plus 1 over x plus 1. All right? Again, remember, this whole thing right here is one term. These aren't factors. If it was 5x is a factor, could be a considered a factor, but x plus 5 are not factors, they are terms. So these two terms make up a single factor. So we're going to go ahead and do this little bit of math here, and we're going to get 5x plus 5, and all I'm doing right now is I'm distributing this into here, into here, right? Then I'm going to multiply this times this, and it's going to look like this. This negative sign is this one. So 5 times x is negative 5x, all right, all over x plus 1 times x. And the reason I haven't multiplied these two things pieces together is because I don't know what I'm going to get from this side. I don't know if it's going to be anything interesting. We have 5x minus 5x. Those cancel out. So we just get 5. Now I'm going to go ahead and distribute x times x is x squared. x times 1 is plus x. So this is our answer. This is called a literal solution. Okay? All right. So I hope this is helpful. Look, everybody's going to be taking these tests when they get into college. So if maybe you're sitting there going, hey, man, I already took AP Cal... A, B, B, C. That's terrific, but do you remember all that stuff from 7th, 8th, and ninth grade? All those math courses you took early on, because that's what they're going to test you on. They're going to test you on your fundamental math. Uh, there is a section on there called uh, college, uh, college level math section, but you have to score, I think, 6 or 7 out of 12 on the first part to get to the second part. All right, you guys? Good luck. I hope this was really helpful. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe.